when the dead started walking, I was small and alone. Until a man named Lee became my protector. Lee protected other people too. But he couldn't save everyone. He could never save everyone. The living were just as dangerous as the dead. A woman in our group named Lily lost her dad. And then she just couldn't cope. She took the life that Lee saved. side of the road. Lee taught me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could. But he got bit. Because of me. And even in the end, he was still teaching. Keep that hair short. Just not worth the risk. Lee wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. He told me to leave him. And I did. I met another group after that. Broken people, running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ. He made it, but the mom didn't. And I started to take care of him. But then Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without Lee around, I had to make the call. I stopped Kenny finally gave him peace. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done. I'd had enough. I took AJ and left them behind. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked, but I was wrong again. They took AJ from me, said I was too young to take care of him. I thought maybe they were right. I said my goodbyes. I regretted it later. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope. I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have. And I'll protect him with my life. Just like Lee did for me. What you doing there, goofball? Pretending we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves.
I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. Would you prefer shitbird? <laughs> no. That's mean. You're a shitbird. What's wrong? AJ? Hungry. Here, practice your reading. But I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Preheat oven. Place cream, vanilla be beans, into a saucepan and bring to a boy. Uh, on second thought, never mind. That's only gonna make you hungrier. Hey there, Alvin Jr. It's me, Disco Broccoli. Word on the street is that you want to eat me. Is that true? Do you want to eat me? <laughs> Come on, Clem, I can't eat a toy. Aw, oh, man, my feelings are hurt. My stomach hurts. Hmm, <laughs> sassy. Here you go, about all we got. What about you? <sighs> go for it. We'll find something else soon. I believe you. We gonna do it? Think so. Looks clear. We're doing it. water too. All right. Let's find some food. Friendly, ring the bell. What does it mean? It means the people here shoot first. Stay back. It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Next, we get in there.
Whoever used to grow things here is long gone. Monster trap? <laughs> it's not a trap. You swing on it. For fun? You get in the tire, and someone pushes you so that you go really high. Oh, huh. I want to try. After we clear this place. Interesting. What do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. After that? Uh... Come on, you remember. We... Inside a new place? We always... Check, check the, windows. the windows. That's right. Monsters. All tied up. They can't get us? No, they can't. Hmm. Windows are all boarded up. This one's locked. Security door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise. They ate well. For their last meal. Too small to crawl through. Well, for me. See anything? Looks like some cans. Could still be edible. One of us might be able to fit through there. Is that the only way in? 
Let's look around. Let's be smart. That's right. This opens the lock. <sighs> That's not happening. Poison. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together, holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. And the key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark in there. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. Well, they used to be people. And as people, they asked to be left alone. So what's best? AJ, I need your help on this one. In there? I need to know if there's food inside. And I need you to be brave. Okay, I can be brave. Lift me up. Once you're through, unlock this door. See this, Clem. <sighs> huh. They had a good thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. It's always just monsters. Bad people, AJ. Be careful what you wish for. There must be good ones, too. We're good. Just a few. Remember what we said? You know this. Never, Never hesitate. Right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be something we can eat. Hope so. We didn't see a kid. No, no we didn't. Might be why they gave up. Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. You said it, kiddo. Shit, fuck. Look. Huh. You good? Uh-huh. Just hungry. Grumbly in your tumbly? <laughs> no, just regular hungry.
something under here. Floor door? Huh, yeah. We must have wanted to hide something. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. It's rigged! AJ! to do. Stick to the sides and be my eyes while I clear a path.
PJ! What is this place? will do. Now! Mm -hmm. You do the same. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna hurt you. We've got your boy, he's safe. If you wanna see him again, you'll drop that knife. Now! I'm not fucking around. Let him go, or I let go. And you'll see how good of a shot I am. I woke up in a locked room with duct tape around my wrists. Why the hell should I trust you? There. Now drop the knife. Good. That's good.
Look, if we wanted to hurt you, we would have by now. Considering the circumstances, I'll let this little standoff slide. But you only get one strike. Now, are you gonna behave so I can take you to see your boy? Because if you really want to fight, you're a little outnumbered. Hey, Jay's okay? Take me to him, now. Jesus. You don't bend, do you? All right. Since you asked so nicely. Sorry about locking the door and tying you to the bed and all. You were in uh, pretty rough shape when we found you. We had to take precautions, you know, just in case. But you're safe now, and so is your friend. I'm Marlin. That's Tennessee. But, uh, call him Ten for short. He's one been taking care of you. He uh, doesn't talk much. Clementine. Come on. Let's go see your boy. You've been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah. We've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? Don't usually see people our age alone out in the wild. I can't imagine what that must have been like. It's taken its toll. Been making a lot of mistakes lately. You saw the car. Don't be so hard on yourself. You lived, didn't you? It's good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. The walkers were on the way. The car, was it totaled? Yeah. Fuck. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. All alone with the kid? Not a pleasant thought. I've seen some rough scenes. But that one would have been up there. Hey! You want to lose some more teeth? Keep staring. Was that really necessary? What's his problem? You're just new. I mean, we haven't seen anything like you in... ever. What is this place? You can probably tell it used to be a school. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well... I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but we do all right for ourselves. We've got good walls, good defenses, and a good location, too. No one really comes out this way anymore. We've carved ourselves the perfect camp. Kids are safe here. We make sure of it. <laughs> no way something like that could last. Not for long. And yet here we are, saving you and your boy's life. We must be doing something right. It hasn't been perfect. Used to be a lot of us, but you know how it goes. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. You and your boy feels like you both fit that description. I'm just speculating, seeing how you threaten Willie. And then again, it's hard to survive too long these days without being a bit troubled. Anyone tell you you're pretty nosy, Marlin? Maybe I'm grasping at straws, but... <laughs> Jury's still out on you. Your boy now? He's definitely trouble. It's been a little terror since he arrived. Excuse me? Let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit. I need to take care of this. Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. You got bigger fish. The kid's inside. I think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Get a move on, Willie! 
Where's your damn weapon? Follow the music. Master of fine ass. Master of big ass. Juris Doctorate of Ass. These look nice. Even if they're fake. Good kid. You must have provoked him. Tapping him on the shoulder ain't provoking. This is what I get for trying to be nice to the kid? Well, screw you both. pretty well yourself. Were you worried? You have no idea, kiddo. But, AJ, listen to me. That girl out there says you bit her. Is that true? I'm sure she didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry, AJ. She snuck up on me. I didn't want to hurt her. I know you didn't. But no more bites, okay? No more bites. You're not dead. That's good. Watch your kid for you. My name is AJ. Excuse me. I watched AJ for you. He's not my kid, and I'm not his mom. Shit, that's not what I meant. Sorry. Please don't be mad. Wouldn't want to meet Ruby's fate. AJ doesn't like people coming up behind him. Don't ever do it. Loud and clear, little man. Thankfully, I was here to calm him down with my alluring music. I'm Louis. Clementine. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. Marlon left your bag in here somewhere. Don't worry, I've got it. Um... Double, um, does he know what that is? It's dirty. Clean it. Maybe later. Back you go. Where it belongs. Dude, that can't be a good idea. That thing's bigger than him. Is it actually loaded? Yes. Oh, good. 
I'll guarantee he's a better shot than you. Hey. You guys do your thing, I guess. You don't know any others? Well, there is one. But you're armed. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever. <sighs> Stop. Now. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. <laughs> what do you think, AJ? I don't know. It's loud. It is. Loud is bad. Not always. Come press this key. Come on. This one right here. You keep playing, Lewis. We'll just listen. Uh-huh. Suit yourself. Hey! Have you seen Rosie? Nope. Shit. We've got a bit of a situation out there. Um, <clears throat> need to ask, you just coming to and all, but... Could really use a hand. You up for taking out a few deadheads? You too, Lewis. Get your ass in gear. <sighs> Fine. Hey, Rosie! Where the hell is she? You give her her weapon back? Good. We're gonna need you to put it to use. We've got a hunting party out there trying to get back inside. We need our help to clear the way. It seems to be a few more than usual these last couple days. It's almost like something drew their attention. Something like, I don't know, an explosion or a car crash. Why? What? Just saying. There's gotta be some explanation. Are you insinuating something? You know, just speculating. Um, hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls. They're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side. Looks like they made it back in one piece. Come on, we'll meet him halfway.
Nice timing. We're not gonna be able to hold them off much longer. No kidding. Where'd all these walkers come from? We can talk when we're back inside the gates. Keep an eye out for stragglers. You know, you're not half bad, considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. Piece of shit. I hate this cleanup bullshit. It's all right, girl. It's all right. Hey, see you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog ones. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. <sighs> that walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right. Fun's over. Let's get inside. Ah, fucking starving. You're not the only one. How'd it go out there? How do you think it went? Be nice, Asim. The safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. B minus then. Now, Clem here, that was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Be better. You did a good job out there too, Lewis. You're too kind. And accurate. You're falling right into his trap, you know. Trap schmap. She's just speaking the gods honest. So am I. They're pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's <sighs> <sighs> AJ! <sighs> oh, shit. <sighs> Kid packs the goddamn wall, huh? Oh, come on, tough guy. Shake it off. He's a little kid. Yeah, a little kid with a mean hook. He can't go around punching people in the. I don't want to expect him to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. So, we should talk about what just happened. It was an accident. I know. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But... but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. Well, let's try not hitting them, for a start. Or biting. He snuck up on me. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. <sighs> so we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. 
Let's talk to the other kids first. I'm not sure anyone would pledge to that. There's that girl, I bet. Yeah. Want to talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... Oh, make something up. Yes. If you'd like, you can bite me back. We're good, Chug. I did it! You sure did. Mmm, yes. Redolent of rosemary, lemongrass, and possum meat. Now, if you can't find fresh possum in your neck of the woods, squirrel, skunk, or vole can work in a pinch. But there's nothing quite like possum. Every bite tells a story. We'll be right back with more stew with Lou. Please stop. I... I can't. I really can't. Hey, guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Hey. Hey, you're new. I am. I'm carving a weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? You wanna see something cool? I wanna see. <laughs> yeah. Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Fuck up monsters, yeah. <laughs> Little dude said fuck. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Not yet. You can't rush perfection. Come on, AJ. Let's go make friends. Okay. This might look nice in our room. Locked off. Kids must have not wanted anyone to get through there. You know, staring at it won't make it cook faster. You lowering your standards might. You actually helping might do that too. Let's not get crazy here. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm, like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. 
Those who do not learn from the past and all that. You seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back to safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. Finish that sentence, AJ. Saved my life. I F-worded up and looked like a fool. Not cool. I just... I write mistakes down so they won't happen again. I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. They can see over the walls with that. Smart. It would take an army to knock this down. It makes me feel safer. Hey guys. Knock it off, Ten. Heard you guys didn't have the best introduction. It wasn't my fault. Ten. You know, you really ought to be more careful. I was trying to help. What is this? Our graveyard. Can you guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody, really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe. I've never seen anyone do that. No. Let them have some space. Okay. I'm glad you're not in a graveyard. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Okay. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. <laughs> Be careful. He bites. <laughs> Don't worry about Ruby. From what I hear, it was self-defense. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Well, don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <sighs> Thanks. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mmm, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on! Uh -uh. Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> oh, good lord. Enough. Thank you. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good night, Ruby. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. You sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Get ready, losers, because it's time for you all to lose. Oh, shit! I like that. Bold talk. Uh-uh. True talk. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. Bet you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? where you need to know. Damn. Touchy subject, I guess. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh, boy. Uh... What do you mean? She means looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one, too. Uh, I look cool. <clears throat> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh, my God. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. That stuff is for suckers. Just causes trouble. Amen. Yeah, but the best kind of trouble, right? Ha, uh, I win. So, Clem. You can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? I've always taken care of myself. Oh yeah? There's never been anyone else? Nobody who's stuck around for long. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw a walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. 
We got a lot of guts. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I know. I don't know. You? Probably? Why probably? You asked a morbid question. There's your morbid answer. Oh, shit. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. No. Really? Really. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Hey. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax. Get some sleep. Feel human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. That looks like a really safe window. It does. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like 10? Yeah, like 10. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten Sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. It's all right. She says you can keep it. Okay. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> She had the most amazing voice, real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. 
After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Most of us that are still around, a lot of times we have more bad memories than good. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person. You know, I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. Yeah, you did kind of come off a little strong when we first met. It's not like I'm trying to be BFFs or whatever. Sorry. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Enjoy the art supplies, little man. See ya. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? Uh, AJ? Hey there, what are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Well, it's safe out here too. Did you see the size of this place? It's huge and there are plenty of brick walls to keep us safe. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? Nobody's gonna come in. Trust me. That girl just came in. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. I'll be okay, I promise. Okay, okay, you can sleep under the bed. Here, for your head. Let me know if you get cold. I will. Okay, good night, AJ. Clem? Yeah? I'm glad we're not sleeping in the car anymore. Yeah, me too. gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. It's here. Hi. Hey, Tennessee. What are you guys doing? I was looking for more pencils, but I wasn't able to find any. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. 
She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh, they were weak. What? No, they were brave, strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay, that's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. Clem, please. Would it be all right if he played with it a little longer? Just until we go? I guess. Good choice. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Marlon? Stay back. Whoa, what the hell's going on? Hey, 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 hey. it's okay, dude. Shh. Uh, there you go. You said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie, shh. Sorry. I promise she's not gonna bite. I'm sorry. I can't. No problem. I'm not gonna pressure you. Rosie, lie down. She was the headmaster's dog, back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left, and I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. The greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. What's the trap area? A hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and a Sam are set to go check them today. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. 
got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I, I can't let another kid die. It could break us. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah. Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Shit. Sorry. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to come off like a dick. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. But maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis... I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Let's go do some hunting. Yeah. Take this. Don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we could stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. Hunting grounds are usually clear of walkers. Sometimes they get caught in the snares and shit, though. You see a ribbon on a tree? Traps are nearby. So watch where you step. Please. I think I can handle myself. I'm basically a ninja. Skilled in the craft of martial arts. Oh, you two? I thought I was the only one. Me too. Oh my god. We got work to do. Not all of us have the privilege of being Marlin's lapdog. Oh, ouch. Someone's a little jealous. In my defense, I totally get things done. I just prefer to think of survival as more of a day-to-day -day task. So, you know, don't sweat the technique. You do what you do to survive. That's all that matters. I knew you'd understand. Whatever, man. You act like you're the only one with a strategy. You play the long game. You gotta have plans B, C, and D. And what if you don't make it that far? Shh, shut up a second. Ah! 
Hey, check this guy out. He's like a walker pinata. Cut it down, fix the snare, and let's go. I will, I will. Eventually. If you want food for the kid, I could use a hand. Or you can mess around with this idiot and starve. It's up to you. Oh, you can starve. So dramatic. Broken. These guys should take better care of these. Come to hunt? I hear something rustle around in here. Let me get back to you on that. Fine. This is cool. Edgy. Wanna take a swing? It won't bite. Well, that guy would, but the bat won't. You know what I mean? You get it? Uh, all right, I'll take one swing. Now that's what I'm talking about. Sorry about a sim. He's not always so lame. But lucky for you, this is Team Fun. Team Fun? That's right, Team Fun. And your membership has just been accepted. Now, for our first order of business, a little batting practice. If the Olympics were still a thing, you'd get a silver, no question. A silver, huh? Well, I mean, that could have been a lucky shot. <laughs> All right! Now you just went and earned yourself a gold. Damn. All right, you gotta make this one count. Come on, Clem. Run! All right, all right. Show's over. See? Don't you feel a little better now that you blew off some steam? You need to get that energy out every now and again. Have some fun! <sighs> yeah. Actually, I think I needed that. Well, I'm glad you got it. Life's too short to be a stress ball all the time. A sim loves giving me crap about having a good time. Always telling me I'm not thinking long term. We need to guarantee our future. All that horse shit. But I tell him right back. There's only one guarantee. This moment. That's the only thing you got. Only thing any of us got. Might as well enjoy it. I'll untie our friend here and reset the snare if you go check on a sim. Clem! Clem, come here! Look, it got one. It's a baby. Well, all meat is good meat. It's not enough. Release it. Why'd it get bigger? I'm hungry. So am I. But we'll be even hungrier tomorrow if we don't let him go. Tomorrow doesn't exist, dingus. There's just today. And today I'm hungry. We're hungry. Are you gonna do it? I can't watch. Ooh. You know, there really isn't a lot of meat on that. People need the food. Today. All right. Well, the snares have all been reset and are ready to trap things. We good to go now, or what? 
I'll take this back. You two should meet up with Brody and Violet and see if they've managed to snag any fish. This isn't gonna be enough for the whole school. I like fish. That's great. See ya. Follow me. The girls are probably near the shack. You like fish? I once ate a whole shark. No, you didn't. Where's Vi and Brody? They should be here by now. Clem, look. Monster. Vi wouldn't have just left this out in the open. Wait, isn't that one of our spears? Clem, lock's busted. We might not be alone. Stand back. Holy shit! This place is wrecked! All our supplies are gone! I'll take a look around outside. Hold tight. Are we in danger? Maybe. Cigarette. Hand rolled. Is this a Bible page? Clementine? What the hell happened in here? Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. No sign of our thief. Thief? Oh shit. We just walked a mile of river and the traps were all empty. No fish. None. Someone robbed us? Oh great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> fuck. F fuck. Come on, come on. <sighs> It's just a panic attack. Fuck! Fuck! Brody, you're being too loud. We might not be alone. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? Loud is bad. I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlin kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. The train station. It's not too far from here. Uh, I don't know. That's pretty far outside our perimeter. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. All right, fine. Lead the way. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. We barely got out of here. It was close. It sounds scary. There's a reason. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. Could climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. That bell might be able to get the walker's attention. <laughs> 
They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. I think you mean charming and theatrical. Entertaining is another word that comes to mind. Charismatic. See what I mean? Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! A second. We may not have a second. I'll watch the door for walkers. Okay, AJ and I will sneak in, grab the food, and get out. Sounds good. Let's make it quick. These will be perfect. Clint, look. Try it out. See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. I don't have to.
Do not fuck with me. I'm not here to fuck with you. I'm here to get some food. Same as you. You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already and organized some effort to get inside. So you probably also knew the stash was there. Just passing through. Decided to see what we could scavenge. Uh-huh. And you just got extra lucky. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group? Count you plus the two outside, I'm thinking maybe more? You got a camp in these here woods? We're a big group. Strong people, well armed. Uh huh. Right, right. And this big, strong group sends the kids out to do the risky work. Interesting. I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. You wouldn't let a hungry man starve now, would you? Kid, I don't want to do this. AJ, get down! <laughs> What the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. To me, Marlon, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. I'll allow this hubris because I am starving. Thank you, too, Lewis. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station, that's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our fish traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome! Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the 
hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? Wanna try stepping back, Brody? I'd recommend it. I'd recommend you getting your head out of your ass before we're all dead. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Clem. Clem, I know I asked you for help. You did, you did, but... Nothing's easy. No one died. You don't have to worry. I always do, though. Can't help it. <clears throat> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be alright eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. You've been in here too long. When you see more death, you'll be a lot more afraid of it. Or maybe a lot less. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. I don't think there's anything after we die. Just darkness. There might be. You don't know. Nobody knows. But if there is, I think it'd be like this. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there, too? I promise I'll draw you well. You just gotta hold still. No, thanks. Oh. Okay. Is it okay if I stay in the picture? If you don't mind? Is it? I'm sorry, AJ, but no. Scratch him out. Now. Okay. I 
I don't like that screw. No. Don't worry. I'll draw you something later. Something different. It's getting late. Yeah. You guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Stand back. <laughs> Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. <laughs> you got in bed, by yourself. I like it here. We gotta go hunting. And Lewis let us hit the walker like a pin... a, a pin... Pinata. Yeah. And that was scary, but it was fun. It's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice, too. Before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it. Now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. I like it, but I'm not sure if I trust everyone. It's hard to trust people sometimes. Do you trust me? Always. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. So used to lugging this everywhere, never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. <laughs> so cute. There. You have to water flowers. Not these. They're fake. So they never die? Never. Well, lucky flowers. But they're not as pretty. Those don't look like the other ones. Because these are real flowers. The kind that need water? Bingo. Make sure to give them some. I know. Don't forget. I won't. Good. I don't want them to die. I'm not sleepy. <laughs> Liar. That's cool. I know, right? Like, really cool. the other one more. Why is that? It's scarier. That makes it cooler. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks.
There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, 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 not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. You okay? They sound mad. Don't worry. I'll find out what's going on. I know. <sighs> Not sleeping tonight. entrance to the basement around here. Those bastards are back and it's only a matter 
long time before they find us. You know, know this shit! Nothing to you! There you go again, getting so mad! What are you going to do? You're making me mad! Oh, no, we have to tell the others about what you did! Sam, show yourself! Clem! What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. You're not getting rid of me that easily. Tell the others what. Please, this is a private conversation. Okay? It doesn't concern you. The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just gotta tune it out. I ain't crazy, Clem. We know that guy. Marlin let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed hey, of what- Shut up! What'd you say? She... I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're gonna be okay. I, I promise. God damn it! Hell! Why did you say that, Brian? I told you not to say it! Please be okay. You... You hit her too hard. She's not gonna make it. Shut up! Come on, Brody, we can fix this. At least you're gonna be okay. Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? You and H.A. Bo. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Brody, if there's a threat to A.J., you have to tell me. Everything is so faint. I can't feel my legs. Please, try and focus. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make him go away. Like he did. Like he did with ten sisters. Brody. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell am I gonna do? it in there and lift up the latch. Can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help.
This'll work. Coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. The first thing she did was attack you, Ten. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me, your friend? did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. We don't know her, y'all. I hate to say it, but we don't. Lewis, don't let him do this. Oh no, I am not involved. What? I like you, Clem, but I... 
Not me. I'm sorry. You're, uh, on your own. I'm sorry. Then you better bury me deep. Because if I come back, I'll come for you first. Shit. Marlin, come on, man. Drop the gun. Lewis! She killed Brody! We can't let her walk away. Clem, I, I... I gotta trust Marlin. I just... I gotta. I always have. He didn't trust you with the truth. He lied to you about the twins. He doesn't deserve your trust. Shut the fuck up! Come on, dude, just drop the gun. This is how adults do things, not us. Stand down, Marlon. Be reasonable. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! <laughs> Protect anyone! Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. If they came back, I'd do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. Easy, because he's a coward. I wanted to get them. Stage some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. I didn't want to hurt them. You're pathetic. Is it true? No, it's... it is. You were just the only one who couldn't see it. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. If you really think... What? I didn't hesitate. 